Hi everyone, my name is Hannah. Um, I did my presentation on comprehensive test of phonological processing, CTOPP for short. Um, a little bit about it. It is an objective method of assessing phonological processing skills. Uh, it was created, please forgive me. I'm very bad at names, but it was created by Carol Rashaw, Joseph Torgen Torgenson and Richard Wagner. Uh, it was released in 1999. Uh, SLP psychologists and educators frequently utilize the CTOPP to evaluate and identify phonological processing issues in children and adults. Um, the cognitive abilities required for the perception and evaluation and manipulation of speech sounds are referred to as a phonological processing. The development of these talents is crucial for the, develop for the improvement of spelling and reading. Phonological awareness, Phonological memory and quick naming are just a few of the phonological processing abilities measured by CTOPP. Some advantages. The thoroughness is one of its key features. It evaluates a variety of phonological processing abilities and provides a thorough picture of a person's strength and limitations in an area. The exam consists of several subsets, such as a phonological awareness exercise requiring sound manipulation segment segmentation and mixing, as well as test of phonological memory and quick naming skills. Um, diagnostics capabilities are an additional benefit. The assessment can assist and pinpoint certain areas of difficulty, such as deficiencies in working memory or phonological awareness by evaluating several components of phonological processing. The creation of, fo of focused intervention strategies that cater to the particular requirements of the person's of the person depends on this knowledge. Some disadvantages: um, it does not evaluate other crucial facets of language development, such as a such as vocabulary, grammar, or comprehension, and instead largely concentrates on phonological awareness and processing abilities. This constrained scope might not give an accurate representation of a child's ling linguistic skills. It can take up to 30 minutes to conduct a CTOPP, which is a long evaluation. Um, for some younger kids uh, with shorter attention spans, it might be difficult. It might be challenging to comprehend and administer the CTOPP since it consists of several subsets, subtests, that evaluate various phonological processing abilities to correctly administer the evaluation, this can call for further training or experience. K-12 reading in a classroom. A student's reading performance can be impacted by certain phonological processing issues, which may be evaluated by CTOPP. <clears throat> the exam evaluates abilities, including phonological memory, awareness, and quick naming. By pinpointing specific areas of weakness, educators may modify their lessons to focus on these areas and implement effective solutions. If a kid, for instance, has a difficulty with phonological awareness, instructors might include activities and approaches that work to improve this ability, such as playing rhyme games or breaking down and into component sounds. The comprehensive test of phonological processing is a useful instrument for reading instruction in grades K through 12. It may be used to spot kids who can have reading problems, evaluate particular phonological processing, processing skills, track development, and guide instructional strategies. Teachers may offer children tailored interventions and assist to help them build good reading abilities by using CTOPP. In this picture, you see some of the breakdowns of the subtests, um, and this is like a modeled scale of what it would look like to almost about eval to evaluate a child um, if they were taking it. Uh, I also included a video of a mock trial, uh, like a mock uh, assessment. Um, I believe these are teachers and they're just demonstrating how to prop properly do it. So I will also link this PowerPoint and you can watch the video yourself. Thank you so much and hope everybody has a great day.